we went to a match event in Conroe, Texas, and now when you go into this room and it's sort of sterile and, and not very friendly, and there's just a bunch of CPS caseworkers sitting at tables with binders full of pictures of kids that need homes. And, and, and it's kind of like you go in and you're like shopping for a kid, for, and it's just so weird and hard, and every time you turn the page, it's like you're saying no to a kid. And, and we, so we sat down and, and uh, um, we, we, came across, um, we came across our daughter's picture, and she really, really stuck out to us, but it was, it was interesting because she wasn't our, she was not, not only not in our age range, she was way out of what our age range was. And I decided to look her up online because there's a website with kids that are available for adoption. And that's when I saw the picture of her brother, and I thought, this cannot be our daughter because I didn't realize how close they were because we cannot split them up, but we can't fit him. And Mark was from the very beginning like, I really feel like this is our daughter. So we, uh, we love our home. It's been an amazing home, love the neighborhood, love the place. Um, we, uh, it's not big uh, by any stretch of the imagination. It's a three bedroom house and we have three biological boys, Justice, Judah, and Joel. What, we, what we've done is we put all three boys in one bedroom. Of course we have a bedroom and then Avery has a bedroom and so to adopt Joe sort of brings some challenges for us because we we didn't really have the money to build onto a you know build an addition onto the house. It's kind of kind of expensive, and so um, finally what we we came up with was we would just swap rooms and put all four boys in the big master bedroom because it's big enough, and we would at least give them some comfortable space. And we would switch switch rooms into one of the smaller mm -hmm. rooms. And I was actually at a friend's house when we got to talk to Joe on the phone. We were split up. We were on a conference call because um, he called and I thought, this is our opportunity to ask him to be our son. And so I went out and I was talking to all my friends and said, you know, I just asked Joe to be my son and this is what we're gonna do. And they were like, you're gonna share a bathroom with your daughter and your husband? And this is, no. You know, we, we, didn't, we didn't like advertise or put anything out there like, hey, we've got this issue that we need help with. But people would just sort of reach out to us and say, hey, look, we." we we really want to help. We don't know exactly how we can yet, um, but we, we want to help you guys somehow. And uh, I, was in, I was in Houston um, helping a, a buddy with some stuff at his church, and I got a call from Chelsea, and she's in this house. And she said, hey, um, our, you know, our friends came and picked me up this morning, and they took me to look at houses. And so she's walking around this massive six-bedroom house, and I'm like, wow, that's amazing, but we, you know, we can't afford that. There's no way. And they came together, and and they were able to help us buy this house and, and in a way that, that we could afford. The church has been incredible through this process. I mean, not only through the generosity, but just through encouragement. And they have been there and they've supported us and they've prayed with us and um, they threw us an adoption shower. We, I mean, we had nothing for our daughter and no way of going out and buying a new bed and bedding and clothes and school clothes and okay like we're good we've received all the generosity that we're gonna get we've kind of capped out all of the people that are surrounding us and then this need came up and the church has just completely surrounded us and it's not just one family it's multiple families that are saying you're doing what God's called you to do so now let us do what God's calling us to do because we want to be a part of it but we don't want to add a teenager into our house one day at church, someone just walked up and said, hey, there's a guy who didn't want you to know who it is, but he, he wants you to have this. And he said he knows that there's going to be some needs whenever you get your daughter here. And, and he wanted to just help with that. And it's just an envelope with $800 cash in it. It's been incredible. It's just incredible. I don't know how anybody could do it without a church family. I just don't. Spiritually and physically, both. So I'm so thankful for our church and our, our family, everyone who's prayed for us and been a part of this with us, and uh, I'm incredibly thankful, it's been amazing.